Okay, so now I'd like to show you how to use this formula, integration by parts, and uh, when to use it. So typically we use this for uh, power of x times either sine x, power of x times cosine x, power of x times e to the x, and also power of x times natural log of x. Now, the first thing that you have to do to use this formula is decide what to call u and what to call dv. So I've broken this up into two cases. In these three, we're going to want to let u equal x to the n. And in this case, as it turns out, we're going to want to let u equal the natural log. I'd like to do a couple of examples to illustrate the, uh, just this particular choice here. So the example I had in mind was integral of, say, x to a power times natural law. So let's just pick a power. It's not going to matter what power we pick when we get big, just to prove the point. And this should be solvable using integration by parts, letting u equal natural log of x. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, whatever we call u, uh, everything left over needs to be dv. So what's left over here? x to the 10th times dx. That has to be the dv if we're going to let u equal log x. Okay, so what does this formula require us to do? Well, we've identified the u and the dv for the left-hand side. We need the right-hand side. So we need u. already have it. We need v. We can get that from dv. Again, we need v, and we need du, which we can get by taking the derivative of u. So we need the derivative of u and the antiderivative of dv in order to proceed with the formula. So how do we get du? We take the derivative. du over dx is 1 over x. That makes du 1 over x dx. How do we get v from dv? We take the antiderivative. v, 1 over 11, x to the 11. Now I have all the little ingredients for the formula. I have my u, I have my v, I have my du, and that's really the only three things we needed here. Okay, so what is u times v? u times v is natural log of x times one tenth x to the eleventh. That's uv minus integral v. 1 over 11 x to the 11th. du, 1 over x dx. Okay. Now, first I want to clean this up a little bit. Typically, we like to, when we have a product of several terms, we like to put the constant first, the power function next, and then anything else. Nicely cleaned up. Now, here I'd like to be able to compute the antiderivative. This is going to require some basic simplification. x to the 11th times 1 over x is actually a power of x, so we should be able to take its antiderivative. What power of x is it? Well, 11 minus 1 is 10. So we've got here minus the integral of 1 over 11 x to the 10th dx. Now, we can finish off the problem by simply computing this antiderivative. Now, anytime you're using integration by parts, if you run into something that you can't integrate at this stage, you need to go back and reevaluate your choice of u and dv. But this one we know how to do, so we're in good shape. One over eleven, constant multiple, another one over eleven. X to the eleven plus c, and then a little bit of simplification. 11 squared is 1 over 121. 